G'day, Suits here from ASOR. I'm just going to run through a quick tutorial on how to set up the A3 sync for ASOR guys. So uh, once you've got A3 Syncer, go to repositories, click the blue plus to add a repository, paste in the URL that you can grab from the forums or TeamSpeak. Basically just what you can see there, you can type it out if you haven't got it, or as a view type it now. Add a name and then just click import. It'll connect and populate the settings and then just click OK. You can see now that's added the ASOR repository. Click on that, click connect to. Now once you're in the second screen, just click the, the tick here to check for add-ons. And that'll come up with a list of add-ons. And any add-ons that uh, appear in red, you just tick the box next to it. Or, you know, if there's multiple ones that are red, click the play button. It'll download whatever files are different. You'll get the finished dialog. And now you, all your mods will be up to date. Same for ones that you don't have at all. So if we've, for instance, we're going to be adding ADF Uncut into this. So it'll come up, tick it, and add it. Then back on your add-on screen, go to Events, add the ASOR Ops. And you can see here, all the mods added that you need play in our ops except for ADF Uncut which that'll change in the update. So all you need to do is add that, drag it in and if you want the awesome sounds of JSRS and if you want Blast Core, they're the only one, extra ones you need to add, just make sure they're all ticked. And then when you want to play, you just have that group selected and you click Start Game. You can also configure some additional options here so you can clear, configure what profile the game will start with so if you have multiple profiles, uh, no splash screen, take away those advertisement screens when it starts and default world imp, it won't load a map of Altus, makes the startup process a lot faster. You can also create custom groups and to create custom uh, groups like this, you can just simply create add group, make a name, whatever you want and then just drag what mods you want into it. And then when you want to play that game, you just tick what you want and load the game and it will load that mod. You can see there, it automatically populates the commands. So when you uh, when you log on now and you say it's Sunday and you're logging on to go to the operation, you just load up A3 Sync, click check for add-ons, it'll pick up any updates you need to do, you select them, press play and you're good to go. You should have all the required mods that we're going to need that mission. Uh, just things to be aware of, if you do not have JSRS, make sure you don't tick that because that's a 2 gig download that'll take a long time I mean if you want to do it when you've got plenty of time to download it that's fine but if you're rocked up 5 minutes before we're going to start you probably don't want to update JSRS completely if you've already got it and it's coming up red it just means the files aren't exactly the same so by all means update it so these extra files here are just for if you're setting up your mods for the first time um, they've been put into separate folders so they don't overwrite current user keys uh, configurations like the user config folder and the Acre TeamSpeak plugin obviously needs to go into the TeamSpeak directory. So if you go to your Armour 3 directory you'll see that these folders are here, the Armour TeamSpeak plugin and th they're fine to sit there, they won't make a difference. If, you, if you're setting up for the first time you need to move these folders to where they need to go. So you can see there, move contents to user config folder. If you don't have a user config folder just create it like that and place the two folders in there. So you can see I've already got them there because I've already set up I'll just copy them into the user config folder. Same for the keys folder, get them all, copy them and paste them and, that, and that's up to date now. And the TeamSpeak plugin is located in your TeamSpeak directory and you need to copy the 32 or 64 bit DAL into the plugins folder depending on your version of TeamSpeak. So if you go to your wherever your TeamSpeak's located and go to plugins, you can see there I've got the acre underscore win64.dal because I'm running 64-bit Windows and a 64-bit TeamSpeak. If you're running 32-bit, obviously you copy the 32-bit DEL. So the final thing you have to do to get the everything working in game properly is you have to make sure Armour 3, A3 Sync and TeamSpeak all are running as administrator in Windows. To do that, just go to the Armour 3 XE, right-click Properties, Compatibility tab, tick the box, run it as administrator and click OK. And just repeat that, TeamSpeak and A3 Sync. So find the XE, Right click compatibility, run as administrator, OK. TeamSpeak, run as administrator. And then finally, TeamSpeak, go to settings, plugins, and make sure there's a tick in that Acre plugin. If, that's, if the Acre plugin's not coming up, that means you haven't got that DL file in your TeamSpeak plugins directory. And you can find all these instructions in the ASOR instructions that Lex has laid out here. So, other than the help file, if you need any more, 
help setting up your mods, hit any of the members up on TeamSpeak, comment on this video on the forums. Thanks for watching.